several Russian officials on November the 6th voiced their first reactions to Donald Trump's victory in the US presidential election, presenting it as a blow to Ukraine. Trump has one quality that is useful to us. As a businessman to the core, he hates spending money on freeloaders, on idiotic allies, charity projects and greedy international organizations, former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev said. Trump claimed victory in a presidential vote on November the 5th, defeating his Democratic challenger, Vice President Kamala Harris. The election is expected to have a profound impact on Washington's support for Kyiv, as there are fears Trump might withdraw support. Medvedev, currently serving as deputy chairman of Russia's National Security and Defense Council, nevertheless said that a bipartisan anti-Russian consensus remains strong in the US Congress. The question is how much will they force Trump to give for the war, he wrote. The Republican Party has secured a majority in the Senate in a parallel vote, while the election results in the House are still being counted. Maria Zakharova, the spokesperson of Russia's foreign ministry, said on her Telegram channel that those who live by love for their country and not by hatred for others win. Published a video of Harris quoting a Bible passage, weeping may tarry for a night, but joy comes in the morning, Zakharova added. Hallelujah, I'll add on my own. Russian President Vladimir Putin does not plan to congratulate Trump on his victory, as the US is an unfriendly country involved in a war against Russia. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said in reference to US support for Ukraine. Putin claimed indifference to the result of the vote and once even said he would prefer Harris as a president in an apparent wry remark while US intelligence has accused Russia of election interference to boost Trump. Trump has repeatedly boasted about his supposedly close relationship with Putin, prompting fears he may seek a deal with Moscow at the cost of painful concessions on Ukraine's part. His plan to end the war within 24 hours and get the US out of Ukraine would benefit Russia by ceding Ukrainian territory and creating autonomous regions in the East, according to reporting in October. Trump's view is he wants to do everything he can to help Putin because for whatever reason, he likes these strong men. He's fascinated by him in particular. Evelyn Farkas, the executive director of the McCain Institute said in an interview with the Kyiv Independent, Across the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv, some people expressed hope and pragmatism following news that Donald Trump was set to become US president again. This is not very good for Ukraine, because his position was quite uncertain at times, he wavered between supporting and not supporting. He is an eccentric person, so it is not very clear how he will influence us and the support of Ukraine in the US, he said. 18-year-old law student Victoria Zubritska was pragmatic about her expectations for the next American president, following what she called was the false hope that the Biden administration offered. I think Trump is operating with more objective facts on what will happen to our country. He doesn't feed us with hope, as it was done during Biden's presidency, said Zubritska. Oleksandr Kryev, 27, director of the North America program of the Ukrainian PRISM, an independent analytical center of foreign policy and international security, sees Trump as a political leader who will raise the risks for Ukraine but will also provide new opportunities for the resolution of the ongoing war. Trump is risky, but that does not mean something negative. It just means that he is difficult to predict, Kryev told. Trump has said repeatedly he would have a peace deal done between Ukraine and Russia within a day if he is elected, although he has not said how. During his debate with Vice President Kamala Harris, he twice refused to directly answer a question about whether he wanted U.S. ally Ukraine to win, raising concerns that Ukraine would be forced to accept unfavorable terms in any negotiations he oversaw.
як на мене, це не дуже гарно для України, бо в нього була невизначена позиція, він то підтримує, то не підтримує, і ну, дуже він ексцентрична така людина. Тому не дуже зрозуміло, як це вплине на нас і на підтримку України з боку США. Наразі складно об'єктивно оцінити його кампанію, тому що враховуючи його різні думки для кожного штату і певну невизначеність, воно дає певне різноголосся та якраски невідучість для нас. Але якщо аналізувати його кампанію та Камали Херіс, мені здається, він нам дає більш об'єктивні факти про те, що буде наразі з нашою державою, не підкормлює нас певними надіями, як це відбувалося за каденції президента Байдена. І я думаю, це буде нам на краще набагато. Тобто ми будемо жити в певному світі фактів, де ми будемо точно знати, що з нами буде, бо визначеність і об'єктивна правда набагато краще, ніж брехня та життя в ілюзіях.